You know, I will catch some flack for this, but people out there don't give Melissa McCarthy as much credit as I think that they should. I mean, I'm being honest on that one. I think she's a very versatile actress. I think she's very funny. I've been a fan of hers for quite some time. But this is one of those casting that I'm just like, the hell is going? What are you doing, Disney? Melissa McCarthy in talks to play Ursula in live action Little Mermaid. So Melissa McCarthy, who all things considered, let's be fair here, top of her career. She is right now. She's still in the height of her career. She really can't get many hits, but they keep giving her work. So there's that. And she was nominated for Best Actress. Uh, with uh, Can You Ever Forgive Me or Can You, whatever that movie is called, Can You Forgive Me, that came out last year. Uh, I think so much so that they're working on like a sequel to it or something. So, you know, that's that's fun. But anyway, The Little Mermaid, you know, they're doing it, obviously, because, uh, you know, Aladdin is grossed uh, 800 million worldwide. Dumbo crashed and burned uh, so much so that it's now on home video and you didn't even know it until I told you. And you're welcome. <laughs> Uh, and Lion King is expected to pull in one and a half billion dollars when it drops here in a few weeks. So, yeah, the Little Mermaid, Mulan, right? They're, they're doing it. They're doing it. But anyway, here's what it says. It says Melissa McCarthy may be ready to help some poor, unfortunate souls in Disney's live action version of The Little Mermaid. Sources tell Variety that while the deal is not yet completed, McCarthy's in early talks to play the sea, which Ursula in the live action adaptation. Um, I, I don't think McCarthy would be. I mean, I get why. They want, it's a name brand thing, right? They go, oh, well, let's get McCarthy in here. Yo, McCarthy can play the bad guy. Mm, I mean, can she? Can she really play the bad guy? I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, she could try, but it. this is all going to be mocap stuff. So, I mean, if it's very physical, I think she'd be happier if it's very physical. Uh, but when it comes to son of, you know, when it comes to like the uh, the overbearing, the 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 nature of Ursula, the imposing nature of Ursula, the the allure of her, at least of of her villainy, the fear that the sea creatures have for Ursula. Can you really see Melissa McCarthy in that particular role? Can you really see that being a reality? I don't, because I think any time that there's going to be like a serious moment, she's just gonna like ruin it with a fart take. Now, and I say this. Because I think she's a talented comedic actress. Uh, recently, I was rewatching one of her older appearances on SNL, and and, and not only is the Sean Spicer thing hilarious, like it's two and a half years old, and I've watched that thing I countless times. But she's got some really funny bits in there and really funny characters. So I mean, maybe this is just a paycheck. Overall, maybe that's what it boils down to is just you know it's just a paycheck for Melissa McCarthy. I mean, getting in on this, I would honestly say if I were her, I'd get in. Um, I'd get in at scale and then ask for points because the amount of money this is going to earn for her in the back end, if she gets points, it can be pretty high. Uh, but it goes on to say here as Disney preps, it's live action version of the, uh, undersea tale. There's a lot of buzz about the cast. Disney and the production team are looking to make it contemporary and compelling with their casting choices while still playing homage to the beloved animated original. What that tells me essentially is, uh, Ariel not going to be white. Zendaya. I'm calling it now. I'm calling it now. Zendaya will be playing Ariel. That might be why she's got red hair right now. Because she does. She has she has red hair right now uh, while promoting Spider-Man Far From Home. A lot of people are just like, oh, she's she's playing Mary. You know, it's just a take on Mary Jane. No, no. Her character isn't even Mary Jane. It's just uh, Jesus. That was such a situation in my mind. Um, like, But no, I think it could be she could be going in for for uh, for Ariel, which would, I think, make a fair amount of sense. Uh, she's age appropriate. And it's going to make her a lot of money. But then again, her show, her tenure right now on the show, there's a show. What is it called? Euphoric on HBO, where it's apparently she gets a little racy. Uh, that might be one of the things that kills her getting this job because Disney wants everyone to be, you know, at least a few years away uh, from from racy content, it feels like so. Uh, Mary Poppins returns director Rob Marshall is helming the film will incorporate the original songs from 1989 animated as well as new tunes from Alan Menken and Lin-Manuel Miranda. Okay, I'm not going to lie. Alan Menken and Lin-Manuel Miranda working together. I'm down for that. I, I think uh, Alan Menken makes some uh, amazing music and uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda did a fantastic job on Moana. 
I really want to see what they do with this. I haven't seen Mary Poppins Returns yet, so I don't know his work on that. But uh, I will fu- I will fully admit uh, those pairings for this are going to kind of make me geek out a little bit. Uh, he's also Miranda is also producing the film along with Marshall, Mark Platt and John DeLuca. Uh, David McGee wrote the script. I don't know who David McGee is. But he's at least he's not a Magoo. So there's that. Um, so looking at the story, I mean, it kind of, you know, McCarthy as Ursula is a weird choice. Um, what's Mags Martindale? Margaret Martindale, whatever her name is from uh, like Justified and uh, a bunch of other shows. I think would be a much better, much better, uh, you know, Ursula overall, because there is that impending villainous approach. You know, you watch her in Justified and she was great in the series. Uh, Totally great, totally calculated, cold, you know, and and she just sucks you in with her performance. She was also great in Dexter um, as a completely different character, you know, and and everything. She's fantastic. And I, I could fully see her getting that type of, 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 of role and knocking it out of the damn park. Uh, McCarthy is just going to make it too much McCarthy. And I don't necessarily think that's a good thing. Uh, you know, then again, I mean, they're going for, they, they're going for a children's movie adaptation. They don't want to make it too sinister. Uh, you know, like they don't want to make it like that. So, you know, I mean, what could I mean, How can I, how can I criticize the house of mouse that makes, you know, more money in one, like one hour than I make in an entire year. I mean, probably even more like one minute, one second, they make more than I make in an entire year. So they clearly know what they're doing, uh, but I'm going to comment on it, but I want to hear your thoughts on this, your opinion. Let me know down in the comments below. I will, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, have yourself a great day and uh, peace out.